welcome to clickmyproject.com Our project title is Import Export Inventory Management System. Let's see the abstract. In Import Export Management System, project has models as login, customer registration, add products, view products, purchase orders, sales orders, payment and report. In login model, the input manager, customer and supplier will log in by providing username and password. In add products model, supplier will add products, data such as products name, category, product price, selling price, quantity and view products modules. User can view product details in purchase order modules. Uh, customer can make purchase orders. So in sales order model, supplier will confirm the purchase order of the product. In payment model, customer payment done based on customer name, bank name, account number, company name, com customer ID. After confirmation of payment, amount will reduce from the customer account. In report model, input manager will generate a report for customer details, product details, purchase order, sales order and supplier details. Let's see the flow diagram. First of all, we are starting from the supplier. The supplier can add a product, add goods details into database. So the input input manager will manage all these records. So the input manager has a, has a following option. They can view products, order products, check availability, availability, and view purchase orders. The customer can get good details, order products, and confirm the payment and update account. So to verify the customer details. The import manager will view the purchase order and verify the product details and finally the report of the product details and the sales order and the customer details will be generated as a um, crystal report format. So here we are using crystal report uh, to show the report so so uh, the report will be flexible to the uh, user end of the day the report will be flexible to the user. So once using this product, we can globally um, bring the import and export management system to true. So let's see the execution of our project. So for in first page, we are logging to the login as the administrator. We are using the username manager and password manager. So once you login, you can, so this is the dashboard. In the dashboard, you can see the customer details. So here you can fill the customer details that is, uh, by clicking this you can just fill, fill the customer details you have to give the proper id and name and the business type and uh, gender and contact number address etc so when you save this data it will be saved and you can get the details here so the details will be viewed after if you, if you want to update anything else you can update the details so when you want to delete it you can delete the details uh, and clear the fields and everything you can do likewise when i'm going to the home page uh, so the next option is the seller details uh, the seller details is the, the seller who is selling the product uh, so as usual you, have to, you need to mention the seller id seller name and the business type and the gender contact number and address so as usual you can save the details uh, view the details uh, and uh, you can update the details by something else uh, so when you update it you can see see here the ASD has changed uh, and you can also delete the details so uh, once you delete you can get the product the details will be deleted so you can clear the forms uh, so after that uh, we are going to the next option the next option is the product details uh, so this is the major product uh, uh, option that is uh, we have to give we, we need to give the every product details here so the product id should be mentioned here and the product name so whatever the product name we are giving here will be added to the all the pages uh, and they are uh, using uh, their uh, feeding some product value so i'm going to give the category the category should be anything like uh, whether it is a chocolate or something uh, we can uh, uh, include anything the price would be in numeric value and the quantity you can mention this uh, and after that you can save the detail the detail will be saved so you can give the product details so i'm going to give the product details once again login as a manager login successful and Details. 
so here you can have to give the ID product name something and product category something product price and the quantity and the business type so you can then register success so you can build the product you have added and you can also edit the product and so you want to update the product and so you can update the product like this with this you can see here the update has happened also if you want to delete the particular product you can delete and delete the product clear the content after this so when you want to there, see the purchase data it means we have to in this to this page here you have to give the purchase id something and the seller id when you select the seller id the seller name and everything will be generated and the product id the everything will be generated you need to give the quantity and get the and the tax value tax percentage so when you need to give the quantity as 16 and tax percentage is 8 means you can get the total is 34.46 for 8 and uh, how the customer is paid we can give the pending amount you can get the pending amount so when you click the summit button purchase data will be stored successfully and after that you can go to the payment that is purchase payment details so what you are doing here is uh, so I'm going to give the ID and retrieve the product so when you want to retrieve the purchase ID you can just give the purchase ID and check the amount paid and the pending amount and the check time you have to check give the check number and when you click the summit button you can view the details so here you can view the details likewise you can check for any purchase ID and after that I'm going to give the seller data sales details so the sales details con contains the as usual uh, just like payment uh, purchase details you have to give the sales details fill the sales details and you can go to the payment form for the sales details so you can check for the retrieval data which is in the sales ID and the every details billing details here and finally you can generate the billing report generation so this report generation is used to generate the report for searching particular product means minerals or purchase means you can see the product particular detail thank you